I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a test question on measures of spread. The question here is a list of total points in 20 basketball games is given. So that is the data available to you. You need to calculate the population standard deviation. So highlight the word population, right? Population standard deviation. How many datum in the list lie within plus and minus one standard deviation of the mean? And part C is calculate the total points for a score of 60th percentile ranking, right? So that is what you need to do. Now, once you have a question like this, you know, it involves a lot of calculations. First, let's figure out the formulas. So when you want to calculate population standard deviation, then we're talking about all the elements. So count them. They are 20 in all, right? So we know that N is equal to 20. And the formula is standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sum of squares of disperse which is or the variation which is where mu is the mean right square of this divided by n right so that becomes the formula for standard deviation now that really means that you have to first calculate the mean also right so so the steps involved will be let's say step number one will be to calculate mean right so this is this is mean to calculate mean you have to add all these numbers divide by n which is sigma of all these elements x which we are calling divide by n so that gives you the mean now once you know the mean you know the n also you can find standard deviation right so that's one part and second is how many data in the list lie in plus and minus of standard deviation. Now this question here needs to arrange data in increasing order. Then it becomes easier. You can set the boundaries. And of course the boundary will be that it is from uh, mean is the central value. So you have to go one standard deviation on the left, one standard deviation to uh, to the left and one to the right. That means you to add sigma here and subtract sigma here to get both the limits. Do you see that? So that will give you the position of both these elements and then you can literally count. Perfect. So, so one value will be, if you know this position mean, then you have to go sigma down and you have to go sigma up to get the number of elements perfect part c is calculate the total points for the score of 60th percentile so when we say 60th percentile what do we mean total number of elements are 20 right so we have to find the position which is on 60th percentile so position uh, because there are total total number of elements that means 60 over 100 times we like times 20 right so that is uh, 0 0.6 times 20 so the position is 12th do you see that 12th position now this can also be answered once you arrange them in increasing order so to begin with we can actually use the raw data which we have here find the mean and just continue so i'll prefer to actually first arrange them in a particular order which is increasing order and then use that table to find or to do all the calculations involved so to save time what i've done is i've already copied this data in form of a table now since you can only see half of my page. So I have two columns. So these are 20 data elements, right? So 10 here and 10 there, correct? Now, since we're talking about 
population right so I should use uh, mu here that is what we have been using right so I'm changing uh, x bar to mu okay so so it's saying mu minus x whole square right okay because we're talking about population where we know n is equal to 20 right so n is 20 perfect so uh, you can actually pause the video do all the calculations and then match your answers so the first part is to add all these right all these data elements so let's do 120 plus 138 plus 144 plus 145 plus 152 plus 154 plus 159 plus 162 plus 163 plus 165 plus 166 plus 168 plus 169 plus 176 plus 177 plus 180 plus 181 plus 198 plus 199 plus 205 so that gives you 3321 right so so we can write here that sum of all these elements that is sigma of x is equals to 3321 perfect now what is mean now mean is ratio of i have i wrote 3321 okay 3321 so mean is 3321 divided by n which is 20 okay so we applied the formula and then we'll divide this by 20. so if i divide this by 20 i get a value in decimals which is 66.05 so we get a mean of 166.05 now i'm going to approximate this value to just 166 so it's not a bad idea uh, you know that is what it is so now we know that for us mu is 166 correct now this value will help us to fill up the second column right so go to 166 so 166 minus 166 is 0 correct now you have to take away values from uh, 166 so if I take away these values because I've written it like this we are doing mean minus this in our formula normally it should have been x minus mean right so let me actually change it let me actually it doesn't make a difference but the values on the left we prefer to write with negative values so since there is a correction it's a good idea to just I mean let us me change this okay so it is x minus mean whole square this is for population we'll do x minus mean and we'll do x minus mean whole square right so the idea is the values which are on the left side i want to keep them negative right so we'll do x minus mean so this is 166 so so the data here will correspond to uh, x minus 166 let me write like this does it make sense to you so we have two columns 10 elements on each side correct so if i take away from 168 166 i get a value positive which is 2 well 169 it is 3 so likewise from 176 it is 10 correct you should use calculator to figure this out right and if I take away from here, it will be 14. From 121, it will be 15. And then from here, if I take it out, it becomes 32. And then this will be 33. And 205 will give me 39, right? Sometimes it may be faster without calculator. Now, if you go back, we'll write this value as minus 1, right? So it is uh, 1 less, correct, than 166. That's why I changed my formula. It should actually be x minus mu, right? So we'll use that one. Okay. Now, if I take away 3, I mean, so it is minus 3, right? So now let me fill this up, minus 3, minus 4. And that gives me, uh, if I do this, it gives me, we are going backwards. Uh, so this minus this will be 7, right? 
7 and then this is going to be minus 12 and that will be minus 14 165 that should be minus 21 right 66 minus 45 66 minus this is 22 and 66 minus that will be 18 negative because we are actually doing this minus that correct so for easy i'm just writing that way perfect so it does make sense to you so anyway you can use calculator to figure this out so ultimately what you get here is the difference between these two values it really doesn't matter since we are squaring the way you do it i prefer to write negative for the values which are lesser than the mean right okay now we will square them so actually you could square and add together also no need to write uh, uh, negative or positive now correct so for the six square will be two one one six so likewise we can just square them all so 18 square is equal to three two four so i could have written square of this also but like we're just going in steps as you might do in your test paper and you'll get fairly good idea of how much time you're going to spend in solving such questions perfect so that is also an exercise so estimate your time also it might need about say 10 minutes right so 12 square if you know is 144 don't use calculator just to save time right so since we know this let's write it down right so we know the square is this 4900 121 and if you don't know what is 14 square use calculator if you know just write 196 right so 15 square 225 32 square 1024 33 square 1089 and 39 square equals to 1521 perfect now we need to just add them all correct so so let's add them all uh, to find the sum of all this since you know the formula right so <clears throat> let's add all these add all these squares right so you have to be really careful in doing these calculations should not miss any number right so we have 484 plus 441 plus 196 plus 144 plus 49 plus 16 plus 9 plus 1 and then on this side we have 0 plus 4 plus 9 plus 100 plus 121 plus 196 plus 225 plus 1024 plus 1089 plus 1521 right so that gives you 8069 so the total here is 8069 for me so i'm writing that sum of x minus mu whole square is 8069 8069 perfect and now i can use the standard deviation formula to find the standard deviation correct so standard deviation uh, in this case sigma will be equal to square root of 8069 divided by 20 which is so we'll divide this by 20 and then we'll do square root of our answer and that gives you answer of 20.08 correct so we get standard deviation of 20.08 so let me write down that sigma is 20 point so i'll just write 20 for the time being is that okay so we'll round it to 20 and we know mean is 166 for us 166 for us right so let's get back to uh, our original question i hope these calculations are good enough to do uh, answer rest of the questions right so what we have here is first standard deviation so let me write down the answer sigma is equal to 20 for us 
right? And we also calculated that mean is equal to 166, right? So these answers are approximate, they are good enough. Now the second part was how many datum in the list are within plus minus, correct? So we have to do 166 plus 20. So if I do that, then I get what? So let me do that. So it is 166 plus 20, which is 186. And here we have 166 minus 20, which is 146, right? So, so these are the values which we are looking forward to. Perfect. And for percentile, we are looking at the 12th position. Do you understand? So for part C, we are looking for 12th position. Perfect. So let's get back to our arranged data and we'll figure out these two numbers. One, 146 and 186. Uh, that is the deviation is 20 from the mean, correct? Right? Okay. So, so let's circle these elements. So 146 was our limit. We'll write 146 here. And then the higher limit for us was 186. 186, let me write here, 186. And then we are also looking for 12th element. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12th element here will be 60th percentile. Do you understand? So now I think we have answers for all the questions here. So, so what is in between plus and minus is all these elements, right? So up to here, do you see that? So all these are with plus minus one standard deviation. So number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you see that? So seven of these elements are so seven out of 20. So we can go back to this right and answer how many datums are there so we have seven data elements right seven is our answer in this case and the position we found for the 60th person was 12th person was 168 so this answer is 168 correct so that is how we could answer this kind of question right so let me just highlight these answers for you, correct? So what we got here is a mean of uh, 166, standard deviation of 20. How many datums in the list are seven? They are from 146 to 186. We just counted them, right? And calculate the point score for 60th percentage, which was a 12th element, 168. So I hope it is clear how to do uh, or how to solve such questions, right? So feel free to post your suggestions. Uh, if you like and subscribe, that would be great. And also look into the other questions from this test paper so that you are well prepared for your own test. Thanks for watching and all the best.